When I begin a stained glass window, there are many steps uh, before I even get started with the glass. First is the pencil drawing. And then I like to color it either watercolor or colored pencils to give a better idea of what the overall design is going to look like. I'm copying my full blown pattern onto a piece of paper that will be cut out for a template. And each piece is numbered so I can, basically it's like a puzzle to have to put back together. I'm laying out the templates for the pattern that I've cut out. Put cutting oil onto the glass before I cut it. It helps uh, the glass cut and break more evenly. Put an even pressure on the glass. And then put pressure on it to break it along that score line. And then I put the glass back on to the pattern. And each, the glass is selected with its grain lines to run along your pattern. There are a couple of methods to putting the glass pieces together. One of them is the copper foil, which we usually um, prefer because it gives you more detail for smaller patterns. And the other method is uh, leaded. And you get straighter, more even lines with the leaded glass. Uh, in the copper foil, it's a thin strip that is sticky on one side and, and you go around the edge of each piece of glass. And then uh, you apply flux on the copper foil to reduce the oxidation so it'll hold the solder. Then you run solder over the copper foil. And it takes some practice to get some nice, smooth uh, solder joints. And then it's ready to clean and get ready to install your window.